It's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do another video on eyebrow pencils. The reason is, is the eyebrow pencil that I was showing you in another video is completely discontinued. It's the Sonia Kashuk in taupe that was available at Target. They have discontinued the entire line and it makes me so sad because I love this pencil. It was like the perfect taupe color for women with gray hair. So, I mean, you can use a blonde too. So I was going to do a video and demo a few that I got, um, a few others that I found at the drugstore. So let's jump right on in. Okay, so I have not, as you know, I don't have eyebrows halfway back. If you don't know that, there we go. So we're going to start in. So the first one I want to show you again, and I did this in an earlier video, was the e.l.f taupe pencil for two dollars from Target and I want to show it to you because it is a good pencil so the first thing I do is um, I make some marks here I do you could start at the edge of your nose here and go up as your first mark where your eyebrows should start or you can go into that little dimple area of your nose there here in between the end and the tip part of your nose. That's where I like to go now, otherwise it seems like it's too far back to me. And I just mark it like that. And then you want to put it on the diagonal right there so you see where your arch would be. And how you want to do it is, is the pencil should cover your the pupil of your eye, okay? So it just cover the pupil of your eye as you put that there. And that will be your peak point. And then you want to go to the end here and you just want to measure and you just want to line it up with your nose to the air. That will, will be where your eyebrow will stop. And then I usually connect the dots. Now I've been doing this for so many years that I just, you know, paint them in, you know, without the dots. But, um, and some of you won't need to do that. Some of you have eyebrows. So awesome. I was an 80s girl and I went a little crazy and didn't, uh, I plucked to a fairly well and it never kind of grew back. So there you go. Okay, so that is the e.l.f. It's a beautiful color. It's a great taupe color. I really like it. Um, it's not very waterproof, but for $2, it's a great pencil. I highly recommend. It doesn't really pass the smudge test very well. It'll smear like that. So don't rub your eyebrows when you have it on. Um, it goes on really smooth and consistent, and overall, it's a great pencil. So there you go. That's that one. Now we are going to try some new ones. All right, so we're going to try the CoverGirl Brow Fill Plus Define. It's a real cheap pencil, too. I think these are, what did I pay? I'll have to look on the receipt. I think like $4.99. You get two small pencils. I used these a long time ago when I was in high school. Um, but I wanted to see what the blonde color, and I'll put all this down in the description box below. This is 520 Soft Blonde. So let's try it on this side and see how it performs. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw it in real quick. I'm not going to do the, do the marks. See how we like this one if it performs. Okay, so the color is not great. Honestly, it's blonde, so it's got a lot of gold in it, and I don't like that with the gray hair. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a lot of gold in it. Um, and it you really have to Wow, you really have to press it. It's, no, I'm not happy. It's very gold color. This is much better with the gray hair. See that? Yeah, this is too gold. So that's a, that's a no. Not doing that one. All right, let's go for the next one. What do we got? It's fun to play. Um, all right, so we've got the Maybelline here. Let me read this. Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo 250. And we got the blonde. They didn't have taupe. 
So let's check it out. Let's see what it does. Well, so far the elf is, oh, okay, so it's a twist up. Okay, let's see how this does. It's supposed to be blonde. Looks more like brown to me. But stray hair there. All right, I'm just gonna go for the quick application here. Okay, well, what's going on? Get closer. Okay, so it is a blonde color, and again, it's got a lot of gold in it, and it's going on very good, actually smooth. However, the color is too gold, in my opinion. The taupe is better. Up, oh, and the tip just broke off. Not, this is not, no. I don't like that color. Again, it's too gold. This is more gray, more better. This is too gold. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's a fail for the Maybelline. All right, we've got to do work to find the products that we like. It's like a really good pair of jeans, you know? kind that just fit great. You want to buy like 10 pair. I hate when they discontinue stuff that you like. Don't you just hate that? It drives you nuts. And you got to go out. Okay, so now we're going to go for the Milani. Uh, Milani. Is that how you say it? Milani. Yes. Zero 03 Natural Taupe. Let's see what we got. And again, I will put this down in the description box. Okay, we got a nice little spoolie on the end. Let's see. It is a twist up as well. Let's see what we got. It's supposed to be taupe, and so I will expect it to be such and not too gold because it looks like the casing is gold. So hopefully this will deliver. Okay. So it is awful. O-M-G, this is terrible. I do not know if you can see that, but that color is so gold, it's auburn. It's like a gold, it's the most hideous pencil I have ever experienced. <gasps> oh my God, it's bad. And it's like, a, it's like a hot crayon in the sun, you know, it just smears on. No, this is an epic fail. No, don't buy the Melania. Mm -mm. And I tried the L'Oreal too. No, it goes on way too dark and it's way too waxy. This is incredibly waxy and the color is completely not a taupe. It is not a taupe. So, so far the Elf is the winner. Now I only have one more pencil to share with you and it can't be found in a drugstore. You can only get it at Sephora. I tried the Sephora brand. This is neutral gray brown. That's right, ladies, I said it, neutral gray brown. I actually found a pencil that is, is called neutral gray brown. So, and I've already tried this out. It has a very fine tip, so it's not the most perfect pencil for me because I have to fill in so much, um, but the color, is fantastic it really really is so for you ladies out there with gray hair and I think this retails for like ten dollars it might be ten ten or thirteen um, this color is fantastic it's it's better than the elf color actually it's the best color eyebrow pencil I have ever seen see that for gray hair it just beautifully works so there you go, Sephora brand. And they actually have um, about six total different shades. Um, so you gotta be careful not to break the tip off. It's very delicate. So you have to be very gentle with it, but it goes on and it's waterproof. So there you go, let's try the smear test. Yeah, it passes a smear test. Like if you gently wipe your eyes, it's not gonna smear as much 
does come off a little bit because you know you're putting it on skin skin gets oily by the end of the day but but the color is fantastic ladies it doesn't have a spoolie but it has a little rake and that just works sufficiently so there you go that one's that one it's a beautiful color okay so another tip I wanted to show you that somebody mentioned to me and I wanted to try it was let's say you get an eye pencil and you say you know I just want a little bit a hint of gray in it more gray then what you can do is you can take a brush like this very fine brush like this it's a um, eyeliner brush and you can dip it in some gray eyeshadow now I'm going to use the Sephora Cloudy City matte and just put it in there and put it right on top of and see it gives you a beautiful grayish brown so I'm putting this right on the elf so if there is a color and you want it just to be a slight more gray I mean because nobody really has gray eyebrows per se um, but you want it to be like a gray brown and just now it's not going to work with anything that has gold in it but see that it just gives it a little bit more depth and it gives it a more of a gray color versus that and it feels like it sets it a little bit but see what a perfect match that is to my hair so that's with the elf pencil and then the cloudy city over it and it feels like it sets it a little bit you know the powder does so whoever uh, said try that thank you so much because that tip works I really like that it gives it and it makes it a little bit more smudge wipe proof too so I like that a lot see that so that that'll be great for gray hair and uh, I think that works out actually quite well so that's it those are my tips for today and I hope that works out for you um, the winner is the Sephora pencil and it performs very well it's the neutral gray brown and then of course you can put the cloudy city on top of that if you'd like to give it just that edge of gray a little bit more gray for your beautiful gray hair all right gray goddesses that's it for now and we'll catch you next time